What's going on guys? We are here in Coburg right now. We're just about ready to leave. We did have a night's investigation here and just wanted to show you guys what we're staying in. You could actually pay to stay in these haunted jail cells. Let me tell you, this place is one of the most active spots for paranormal activity in the area. And you could pay to actually go and stay in these. Everyone say hi to Charles. Hey. <laughs> Charles says hey. But uh, yeah, this used to be this used to be like three separate cells all put into one room pretty much. You got a bathroom here. And uh, it's a nice little corner though. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. They modernized it. You can pay to stay in here, which is actually really cool. It's probably one of my favorite rooms ever mm -hmm. that I've stayed in. Yeah, that's really cool. The cool thing about it is that it's not themed, but it's labeled themed, but it's not like a hotel trying to like, you know, theme a room when it's not really haunted. Like these were real jail cells before. And where we are right now, these were, what'd you say they were? Like the segregation cells? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we had, we're in like a little wing right now, but they kind of, they kind of transformed it into a room. And uh, there's a lot in this place to actually see. Look out the window here, there's like a courtyard and everything. Maybe we can go out that way, but we gotta drop the key off. You ready to go? Yeah. That was cool. How spooked were you last night? Actually pretty scared, not gonna lie. Yeah, like, you... I was really looking forward to getting to bed. <laughs> you, I've never seen you like that. Like, you actually didn't want no, to go down there and... Yeah. This place is actually so haunted. It ran as a jail for, like, 92 years. And before that, it was, like, a country home to, like, a family. And they bought it off the family. I think it was 1906. They bought it off the family. And in that same year, they had it as a jail up and running and everything. So, um... It has some history. This place was built way before the 1900s. Put that down there. So yeah, there's a bunch of these types of rooms here, guys. Um, they didn't want to have, just because of the number 13, no one wanted to stay in this room, so they kind of transformed it into a lounge, essentially. One last hello. Hello? I did get some weird feelings in here last night. Anyways. So right here, this is all not real by the way guys. This is all just for show. It kind of looks like a little village. So yeah, this used to be the courtyard here, and it's probably one of my favorite places to actually look at. So yeah, these are all fake, by the way. These are, I mean, the way the woman was talking, she said she had a lot of questions about it from people thinking that these were real shops and everything. But it turns out that the owners of this spot, these are actually all of the restaurants that they've owned. You know, so they're pretty, they're pretty out there. I think, it's, I think it's starting to rain now. One of the coolest things about this spot is that a UK paranormal TV show came here. I think they were called Rescue Mediums or something like that. And the co-host actually was invited here by the owners and stuff. And they had a huge investigation. And uh, turns out, we weren't allowed to go up here, but turns out they're having another investigation. I don't know if it's the TV show, but they actually get access to go upstairs because there is a chapel upstairs. They get to investigate that. I totally wish I was able to investigate that for you guys, but they actually locked it off so like people can't actually go up. In an alternative, she let us go down into the old museum part where I will show you when I drop the video, but I'm not going to show you that now. But a super haunted place. We got special access down there, so that's pretty cool. Imagine if these were like actual restaurants that you can just go to if you want. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. So this used to be the courtyard, I guess, eh? Yeah. Where like they would... Yeah, cause look, these were, these were the old prison walls. And they only got 20 minutes out here a day. Yeah, that sucks. And one prisoner apparently was insane from what I was reading. I will probably upload this video sometime in the next week or so, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a vlog and kind of show you guys around, see what this place, um, truly looks like in the daytime because we came here we got here at night like when it was dark so we didn't get the full daytime look to it 
Wow, eh? I don't know, so apparently this is like one of the biggest hotspots of paranormal activity in Coburg. And uh, people come from all over the world, especially before the pandemic, we read that, you know, investigators, paranormal investigators came here from all over the world, America, Canada, I mean, even from the UK and stuff, they came here and uh, got the chance to investigate it. And it is a big hotspot. Got everything? Yep. All right, well, Chelsea's hangry. Not Once. Hangry, I coffee. <laughs> What'd you think of like last night in the museum park? Like you like were tripping it. out. I wasn't tripping. This girl was tripping out so bad. I've never seen chills that. It just like really like, physically affected my body. Yeah. Like my head hurts. I have so much pain everywhere. And, like. She actually went upstairs to the room and was like, Omar, I want to take a break. Like something down there is draining my energy. Like I prayed. And, like I said, prayer. Yeah, I saw you. Like she was on the, she was on the sofa, legit, like praying. I've never seen that happen. You built up the courage and strength to come back down it there. Is for you guys yeah. and Omar, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I will be splitting it into two parts. But uh, right now, if you guys don't know where we are, we are in Coburg at the King George Inn. If you guys missed the history, it ran for 92 years as a jail, and as soon as I think it was 1998 they actually transformed it into a luxury country inn and hotel where people can actually stay. I don't know how many paranormal investigators have been here recently, but apparently Angelo and Mo are coming here in the next day or two. But um, as far as I know, this place is super haunted. We did catch a lot that I want to show you guys. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys a walkthrough of what we, you know, kind of filmed and whatnot. I'm sorry I didn't show you the museum part, but I will show you that when I drop the video. It is a very haunted, area of the building i'm actually really stoked to put this out for you guys i just wanted to put this into a quick vlog for you guys and show you guys where we are and where we're staying at well i didn't notice that car behind you too whoa yo this is cool oh look yo babe they're california plates oh really yeah california right there so this had to come. It's an old Dodge, actually, you guys. Oh yeah, that's cool. Wow, look at that. Can you imagine driving that back in the day? Old speedometer and everything. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Imagine refurbishing this baby. Ooh. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's cool, guys. That's it for right now. Wow. Damn, I would definitely refurbished that if I had the money to do so. Those things are like antique right now. I don't know why they have that sitting out in the rain, but if I had the money, I would definitely refurbish that. Wow. Literally, look at this, guys. I just got my drone stuck in a tree. The propellers are absolutely mangled. Look at that. I just got my drone stuck in a tree. Just that one right there. Oh my God. I did not get this on tape, but I had to climb up this tree behind me, legit, and shake the branch. I don't know, we were looking for like 20 minutes, couldn't find it. We even had like two people look, and I uh, finally found it. Here it goes. It's going, it's going, it's going. Boom. Damn, look at that, guys. Propeller's done for. That's going to end it off here. Quick vlog for you. I'm going to try and do more of these. It's not technically an investigation. It's kind of more of a vlog type feel. And I just want to show you guys where we were staying tonight. Super scary, super creepy place. And if you guys are in the Coburg area or Toronto area from like, and you guys are traveling, come stay here. Super cheap place. Uh, the ratings don't do justice because if you like the haunted stuff, it's a five star place to stay. So I might return back here. I really hope you guys can join me for that one too. And like I said, the video or the parts I should say are gonna be up later this week for you guys to see. And I do have another location, or two more locations that I filmed this week on this road trip that I want you to see too. So it's going to be a jam-filled week, guys. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for all the love and support. It means the world to me. As far as that goes, we're leaving this place right now. And I think I'm going to come back, so stay tuned for that. You, know, you can follow me on social media to stay more connected. I do post a lot of my plans on social media. So if you guys want to see more of what I'm doing and more of the haunted stuff, more of the background stuff too, like behind the scenes stuff. Follow me on social media. I'm stepping out. Be sure to leave a positive comment down below. Peace and love, guys. I love you guys so much. See you in the next one.